Welcome back to SV Ramble On and thanks again for joining us. So this project is a simple one, but it's a follow-up to the previously installed bilge pump alarm that we put in the cabin here by the uh, companionway. So after running the bilge pump alarm, when you're in the cockpit with the engine running or sailing with 20 knots of wind on your nose, it's hard to hear unless you're down below. What I did was ordered one of these. It's a dual alarm with a red LED. It's a Cole Hersey 4112 series dual alarm with a buzzer and an LED light. What I'm going to do is wire it up to the already active uh, pump alarm. This thing will trigger at the same time as the internal alarm does. So this thing has a red light on it and also an audible buzzer. So I'm going to install this thing in our engine gauge panel. Let's get going. So here's the backside of our instrument cluster. As you can see, everything goes to a junction block and everything is carefully labeled. So now what I got to do is take everything apart so I can pull out the engine gauge control panel. So this is our engine instrument cluster. I already have a red LED warning light that alerts to high water temperature or low oil pressure. And it's got an audible buzzer installed on it as well. What I want to do, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to move it over to here. And then I'm going to enlarge this hole and insert this in the back. And as you can see behind here, I don't have a lot of room to work with. Let's take this thing apart and see if I can fit this gigantic Cole Hersey 4112 series alarm right here where the old red LED was. And then I'll move this, this over here, which kind of makes more sense to put the warning light near the ignition key anyway. So after chewing away at the engine panel for a little bit on this hole right here, it looks like it's going to fit. This is the front side. There's a red light and a buzzer. Here's the back side. Now I got to just hook up the wires to the bilge pump alarm system. So now I'm popping out the alarm. So I'm going to tie the signal and the negative into the wires that I pulled from the alarm system. So this is the negative from the alarm. Put that on the bus bar. And this is the feed from the high water alarm on the engine panel. And same with these. Yellow to yellow, gray to gray. Okay, so everything's junctioned up. So I got all the wires hooked up at the bus bar. And now, just match them to here. The yellow wire. Oh, uh oh, yeah, I forgot. That thing's still hot. Don't short it out. I blew the fuse. Well, crap. I arced out between positive and negative and fried the fuse. I got a two amp fuse in there, and now I need to put another fuse in there. First, let's finish up the wiring. I'm going to go ahead and stick this fuse in here. Once you apply power, the alarm goes to a test mode, which is five beeps, five beeps and flashing red lights. Now I got everything rerouted. I got the oil pressure alarm, red light moved over to here and And as soon as the oil pressure comes up, alarm and LED goes off, diesel engines are running, good to go. So I'm gonna stick a wet paper towel on the sensor, on the high water alarm, and then we're gonna see if it works. Nice. Red light, bilge pump, high water alarm, all right, so that's it for this one. It's a pretty good buzzer. I think we can hear it pretty well outside at the helm. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to leave a comment down below. You can always contact us through our website at svrambleon.com 
or on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again. <laughs>